Oh, the wildlife, ladies and gentlemen. The wildlife. Now the Dodge Caravan going to be crushed. Things have changed again with the, the way I bring the vehicles in. Now he's got a scale, so so before it was just uh, he was paying, you know. Uh, per vehicle, whatever it was, if it was an SUV, if it was a minivan, if it was a truck, everything had its own price. But now, he's got a scale, so he's paying per ton. And now we can actually put some of the light metal in, fill it up. And uh, try to get a little more. At first he had a few rules about uh, fluids and stuff like that. And he wanted them drained. And then he went to just the gas tank. He wanted the, the actual tank removed from the vehicle. Um, and he offered more money per ton if you did that. But a lot of vehicles, it's not very... Not too easy for somebody to remove the tank. It's uh, some you have to remove other parts to get it off, and um, you know not everyone has the facilities, and you know they're not going to be just yanking tanks out on the side of the road. So that didn't go over too well. Um, so now the latest rule is, if you drain the tank and put a one-inch hole in the bottom of it. Um, you get uh, 30 more dollars a ton doing it that way. If not, you lose 30 a ton. So it, it makes a difference when you have, you know, something that you're going to try to make weigh, you know, a couple of ton. Um, definitely makes a difference in fuel and everything, uh, especially for me for how long, how far I go. Uh, so we got to make the most we can on this caravan so as you can see there's my hole most uh, vehicles nowadays have plastic fuel tanks I don't know if you knew that so uh, very easy to just uh, take a simple hole saw and uh, make that hole but you got 2004 caravan and sitting a long time some sort of electrical issue they said won't start I, um, sometimes when I want the fuel out of the vehicles I do a little I rig up a little setup and uh, I find the fuel line or the fuel rail and I just uh, rip it off hook a rubber hose into a tank and then I uh, I jump the uh, fuel pump relay. You find that. Just jump power into that and make the fuel pump in the tank run constantly. 
and then it uh, pumps the fuel right out into your gas can. So I got this one all set up, and uh, I never did look at the gauge. I just, you know, figured uh, there's always a good amount of gas in these things, and sure enough, I got about two gallons, and then it stopped. So. I got the two gallons out and drilled the hole, so we're all set. We'll get the little extra. This is all stuff I picked up yesterday, stuffed in the van. That way I don't have to deal with it another time. Picked this up yesterday, but at the oil company, they cut them and clean them out. Uh, but not going to mess with it right now. The other good thing is you can uh, you can put a couple of tires, you know, in these things, and they don't really care. Uh, no aluminum wheels on this one, so those will just stay. Tires are decent tread, but been sitting in the yard for a few years. Had uh, 2016 plates on it. So, not even going to mess with that. Of course, uh, battery was in it, but it was junk. And uh, this is the one where you've seen, picked up at the end of the last video, and uh, someone had already stolen the cat, but the guy got it back and put it inside. So I have that, and hopefully it's a good one. So. Coffee time. It's our celebration for the day. Well, day's not over, but that's it.
Just that, just the coffee. Well, it wasn't too bad on the caravan. It was um, pretty heavy. You know, I got to that two ton mark, like I said. So, it's uh, 150 a ton that, I, you know, since I drained the, the gas and put a hole in the tank like they wanted. So um, then I do that, and she says, well, tomorrow the price is going down. Yep, it's going down 15 bucks a ton tomorrow again, so what are you going to do? You got to keep going. So I, um, yeah, so the cat turned out pretty good on that caravan. It wasn't the, uh, there's a lot of codes on those ones. The Dodges, uh, they, they code every one of them. And some of those caravans, especially the ones that have the 3.8s, uh, can be, I've had some really good ones. Um really high dollar uh, so I was hoping but that was a step down it was middle of the road it wasn't the cheapest but it wasn't the most expensive so um, still turned out pretty good with the money I paid for the van uh, I covered fuel and after that I doubled my money that I paid for it so that's all you're really looking to do you know those times are nice when you when you really get surprised at how much it is and then you just uh, then you really celebrate but it's a gamble like I tell people it's all I'm doing is gambling with my money and uh, some days you get a steak dinner and other days you get a pack of hot dogs that's all there is to it. I was surprised on how heavy that uh, this truck and trailer was on the scale. Uh, I think it's it, it's got to be because of the lift gate. That's got to be. I've had a couple of guys say that lift gate weighs like a thousand pounds by itself. I think they might be right because. Uh, my rear springs are flattening out just by, you know, just with hauling that thing around on the back. Gotta, I gotta beef it up in the back, put some uh, better shocks and stuff like that. But when I pulled in there with the van on and everything, and me in it, and Rosie's in the back and everything, we got uh, 12,480 pounds. And, uh, you know, that's that's like commercial shit right there. You know, if you're rolling down the road and you're over 10,000, technically, you know, you're supposed to be all commercialized and everything, but we got a half ton Silverado, and uh, we're just hauling, but... So, just the truck and trailer and everything and me and Rosie and uh, nothing really in the back couple spare tires and you know uh, got my toolbox and stuff but um, 8,160 pounds just this whole rigways with no car on the trailer or anything so <laughs> you put a Honda Civic on there and technically you're over 10 so, that's uh, something to think about right there. But payout weight was 43.20. So that's how much that caravan weighed with what I put in it. And not too much really, you know. But um, I don't know how much a stock caravan weighs offhand. But you can find that out easily. So...
anyway. Jeez. Noisy. Noisy truck. So. The day's not over. It's a beautiful day, by the way. Uh, it's in the 70s. Still, we got shorts on, you know, living it up, drinking iced coffees. Got the AC on just because, you know, why not? The windows up, put the AC on. But, um, getting down, got down in the 40s a couple nights there on the weekend, but, uh, right into September and uh, before you know it be into winter it's going to be cold so it's going to be a bad winter a lot of snow so I already got another one locked in the trailer won't be empty for long I got to head back to town and uh, got a Ford key 2006 Ford Fusion. I don't think I ever scrapped a Ford Fusion before. There's three cats on it. So, I don't know. I, I looked a little bit online. You know, there's a couple of pages there where people list prices. And I sort of just for the fun of it at night when I'm bored. I, You know, when I get a car, I'll just go on there and kind of look around and see what other people have got for a similar one and I don't know I always manage to beats around the bush you know it's like you never really get you see the exact one that you got but it's gonna be worth it I got a good uh, good price on the on the car anyway it's uh that guy I've talked about before that used to be the the main scrapper around uh, my town and uh, that's the one that you know it, him and his dad did it his dad passed away and he just uh, couldn't do it anymore uh, it was just too sad for him so he just uh, he doesn't do it but I think he must still get people you know that still have his number or you know know him for doing it so they must contact him and say hey you know I got a car and you know I need a junk car removed but he doesn't do it so I think he sort of uh, you know tosses around the business to a couple of different people because he's told me about a car I'd seen him in traffic and he would tell me I got a car for you and then all of a sudden I see it on another truck uh, so I don't really know but can't complain every now and then he, he contacts me and he uh, comes right by my house a lot of people up here they don't really like to use cell phones too much I noticed that they, they would rather just talk in person so uh, it's kind of a weird thing but yeah, a lot of people just uh, look for my trucks you know and uh they stop right out front so that's what he did and uh, he said I got a car it's mine you know it's got the title and the key so he uh, pretty sure he gets them for free so pretty much whatever I offer him he's gonna take it and uh, he doesn't really complain too much and he doesn't negotiate he just you know it's He's just a middleman. He's just passing over the key and the title, and he gets some cash in his pocket. You know, and he goes back home and drinks Mountain Dew and whatever else he wants to do. So uh, everyone's happy, you know, as long as everyone can make something along the way. That's uh, it's how it works. But. kind of weird that last video um, I know I'm still babbling on but um, 
that last video mostly me talking about that uh, Subaru and Jeep Liberty deal and all that crap but um, weird my videos lately not that I really care too much about the views but I do look at things I mean you know it sends me all the information listed so I mean I'm gonna look at it and uh, you know I just do it make the videos for the fun of it but um, most of my videos lately have been like you know four or five hundred views if that within a short span you know within a couple of days or so a week and that last video it sent me a YouTube sent me an email and said your video is very popular it's called um, scrap all the Jeep Liberties I think but uh, yeah it like blew up there's like 2,000 views on it it's weird I, I don't know I was uh, reading one time about the algorithms or whatever you know of YouTube and how they uh, suggest your video to different platforms and um, put it on the side of other videos and you know and all that and they choose they sometimes they just randomly pick certain ones I guess and uh, that's what must have happened with that because I don't know it wasn't anything too special but maybe the title of it not sure so but hey good you know rack up those pennies anyway breaker breaker you're gonna lose your cover off your fancy machine <laughs> 